this is the first video that I'm doing, at least this year, on um, parabolas as part of conic sections. So, um, as you remember, we've pulled in, um, sorry, I'm showing my computer screen. Um, we've pulled in the, the definition, each conic section has a definition in terms of a cone and in terms of distance. So when we start talking about parabolas, um, hang on, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Um, anyway, I, my, anyway, my recording is oh so awesome. Okay, but so notice what they've done is they've sliced the cone um, parallel to an edge. And when we slice the cone parallel to an edge, we get a parabola. Um, and then, so that's the, the cone definition. And then there's always a definition in terms of distance. Well, what happens here, is that the parabola is the set of all points that are equidistant to a point and a line. Okay, so these red dots are ending up, they're the points on the parabola, and they are the same distance away from that green dot, which we call the focus, and the line down below, which we call the directrix. Okay, so notice, there they go. Um, I don't know if I can, will it pause? I don't know. Um, so this, this, this line right here, this distance and that distance are the same the whole time. Um, so if you think about it, the vertex down here is going to be halfway between the, the focus and the directrix. So the directrix is the line, the focus is that dot. Um, so there's some cool things. They say, um, one of them, this is that cool math, it's worth looking at. Um, the comets, comets shoot through our solar system on a, on a parabola. Cool. Um, and then we also use this um, to, they have reflective properties. So if you have a, um, a satellite dish, they'll put the receiver at the focus, so then when all of the, um, the sound waves or whatever they are, are bouncing within, they all end up hitting at the focus. Um, so we'll have problems like that, and the floodlights do something similar. So there's the... There's the cool part. Okay, so now let's see if we can um, talk about the math behind everything. Um, so this first one, we're going to have. You, well, you've seen um, you've seen parabolas for years, okay? But you've only typically you see things that are in the form um, y equals um, a times x minus h squared plus k. Um, where the x is squared, and so this is going to either open up or down, depending on if a is positive or negative. So hk still represents, um, just like it would have before, we start with the parent function, y equals x squared, and then we can shift it. This means that we've shifted it to the right h and up k, and then it's been stretched or reflected or whatever by a. Um, okay, so this, what we're looking at here, that looks a little sloppy. Um, what we're going to say, if it opens up or down, the x is still squared, but we're going to call this 1 over 4p times x minus h squared plus k. So this is that formula. The only difference is that a is equal to 1 over 4p. And we'll talk about why as we go. Um, and there's a time and a place where sometimes you want to use a, sometimes you want to use 1 over 4p. Um, so the vertex, again, is hk. The axis of symmetry, if you've got, um, if my... Well, let's say my, my parabola is doing something like this, and here's my, my vertex is h, k. Then my axis of symmetry is going to be x is equal to h. Okay. Um, then the focus, this is why we care about the, the 4p. The focus is going to be p units away along the axis of symmetry. And the focus will always be inside the parabola. So if it's opening up, the focus is going to be somewhere in here. If it's opening down, the focus would be somewhere beneath the vertex. Um, and then we're going to look at opening left and right in just a second. The directrix, okay, so basically if it's opening up, I don't know what this is, but um, here's the vertex, here's the focus, and then the directrix is a line, um, and that would be y is equal to, well, it's this p units below the vertex. So if this is hk, then this one right here becomes h is still the x value, and then it's k plus p, and then this is y is equal to k minus p, because it's beneath that. Now, I don't always think, I don't always remember these formulas, um, but what I do is I know that I'm moving p units away, and once I know if it opens up or down, then I would move a certain way for the focus and a certain way for the directrix. Um, 
Then we have what they call, we like to shorten this to LR because that's just a silly thing to say. Um, and the, the LR is the absolute value of 4P. And what the LR does is the LR tells us how wide the parabola is through the focus. So this whole thing is 4P, that means half of it would be 2P and half is, is 2P. So we're gonna graph one of these. In just a second, we'll also see um, that we can have x is equal to 1 over 4p times y minus k squared plus h. This now is either going to open left or right. Um, so notice that the y is getting squared and the x is not. Um, so the vertex is still, this affects the x, the x value. So h and x go together. The k still goes with y, and so the vertex is hk. The axis of symmetry, since this one is doing something like this or this, the axis of symmetry coming through here, if this is the point, h, k, then this is the line, y equals k. Uh, the, and then the focus, we're going to move along the x direction, so the focus would either be in here, and the directrix would be back here, or something like that. And then the lr is still telling us how, how wide that is. Okay? So, there, um, draw in the directrix at y is equal to 3.5. I don't like that problem. I should have deleted it. Okay, so let's just jump in and do this one. I mean, feel free, go go do that problem, but whatever. Um, on this one, so notice that the x is getting squared and this value up in front is positive. So the first thing we know is that um, the parabola is opening up. Um, the vertex is gonna be h, k, so three, four. The axis of symmetry, since it's opening up, well, so here, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four-ish. How'd I do? Okay, somewhere about there is the vertex. It's opening up, so the axis of symmetry is just gonna be x is equal to three. The p value, one over two is equal to one over four p. So this one's not that fun to work with, but okay. So that means that two is equal to four p. That means that p is equal to one half. So I would move up half a unit right here is that at four? One, two, three, four. I didn't do a great job. So this would be four and a half, and that's the, the focus. And then the, the directrix is going to be at one, two, three and a half. Okay, my lines aren't, aren't ideal. So there's the directrix, there's the fo focus. Um, the p value is one half. The focus is going to be, well, the x value didn't change. And then it's, it was at four, and we moved up a half, so 4.5. The directrix is this line, and that's y is equal to half weight below. Um, that's at y equals 3.5. Um, and then the LR, which I should have put a, a list here, the LR is going to be the absolute value of 4p. So it's going to be the absolute value of 2. So then we're going to come up. To, we're going to come to this point, and we're going to move one unit in the x, and one unit in the other direction. So this has a total width of 2, and here is our lovely parabola. There you go, there's that first one. Um, let's, let's do a little bit more in this video. Okay, so sometimes they give you the formula like this, um, and so then I would just go ahead, notice the y is getting squared, so that tells us we're gonna open left or right. Um, I might go ahead and manipulate this and say this is, um, well, divide by eight, so that's a negative one eighth times y plus two squared is equal now, so is equal now to x minus one. I'm gonna add that. And so my my um, my version in the way in the in the form that we're used to seeing it is that x would equal a negative one eighth times y plus two, and then we'd move this over plus one. Okay, so the first thing this is gonna open, if it were positive, it would open to the right. Since it's negative, it opens to the left. Um, and the vertex, be careful that you don't make this the x value because it's the y value and this is the x value. So the vertex is at one, negative two, and the parabola opens left. The axis of symmetry, well hang on, let's just, let's get started. So we're at one, negative two, and here's that point. And then my p value is, um, well this is one over negative eight is equal to one over four p. So my p value is equal to a negative two. So I'm moving one, two right here. That's gonna be the vertex. No, this is the vertex, this is the focus. And then I'm gonna go one, two. This becomes my, my directrix. Okay, so my, my uh, vertex is one, negative two. My focus is two units left of that. So that's negative one, 
negative 2. My directrix is at 1, 2, 3, is at um, x is equal to positive 3. My axis of symmetry is going to be this y equals, and so this is where y is equal to negative 2. Uh, my LR is the um, absolute value of, of 8, well, negative 8, so it's 8. So I'm going to come from here, and I'm going to use go 8 units, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 would be down here, something like that. And so this, put your knife control, is going to be that parabola for that problem. Um, should I keep going? Let's do one more, and then I'll and then I'll start the next video. Find the equation of a parabola with vertex and focus, that, and then they've given those to us. So I'm going to sketch this out. So the vertex is at negative one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So here is our vertex, and our focus is at negative three, positive two. Okay, so if that's the vertex and that's the focus, that tells me it's opening down. I'm not really concerned about the precision. But so then that distance between them, that p-value is equal to, well, negative 2 since it's going down. Um, and so since it opens down, it's y is equal to uh, 1 over 4p times x minus h squared plus k. So I'm going to plug in what I know. So y is equal to, we just said p has to be negative because it's opening down. The focus is beneath the vertex. Um, and, okay, so this is a negative 1 eighth x minus, well, the h value, this was, um, so that's plus 3 squared plus 4. Okay, go look for the next videos because I have way more stuff to do. There's lots and lots coming. Um, so go find the next one.